All right, Mr. Two Fit here, back with Two Fit TV. We got our coach in here. How you doing, coach? Good, baby. How you doing? Tell everybody your name. Uh, Marcus Richardson. Marcus uh, Richardson. What? I mean, uh, what? Marcus and conditioning coach. Strength and conditioning and coach. Conditioning at Edward Waters College. There we go. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Just look, okay. We here, baby. Right. Let's know a little bit about what's, what's your background. How did you get to EWC and what is your journey with fitness? Um, EWC is, um, I was working in Orlando. I um, was the um, <clears throat> assistant strength and conditioning coach for the Orlando Predators with a close friend of mine, JT Thomas, who uh, brought me on and allowed me to work with him, which so when I applied for here was one of the impressive things that Mr. Cromartie liked was that I had done semi-pro football, group setting, blah, 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 et cetera, and football here needed it, mm -hmm. and it was a tool that the school didn't have, and I offered my services, so that's how I got on here. Okay, it's pretty cool, man. Um, so, being that you say you came from a football background and you mm -hmm. probably played a lot of other sports, um, have you ever thought about being a pro, going pro with their sports or anything that, of that nature? How would I played uh, collegiate football, played okay. professional football, uh, played Canadian League football, which is also professional. Professional. Yeah. Um, went to Troy University, played uh, outside. Well, went in as a safety, uh, came out as an outside linebacker. So I went in at 175 pounds, yeah. came out at 230 pounds, and that's how I fell in love with this arena yeah, because had it not been for my strength coach, uh, Coach Shaughnessy at Troy, I wouldn't have gotten so into it. Uh, yeah, I had a did. great strength coach, I had a great uh, foundation and he was a hard guy. But when you get to the end of what he implements, it all makes sense because he sent a lot of guys to the NFL. I went to the NFL as a free agent uh, to the Texans, played there for a little bit, then I went to Indianapolis, there for a little bit, got cut, went to Canada, came out of Canada, was able to jump around for, to a few more teams. Um, hey, well, you got to see that. You got that Jesus NFL Christ. experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm going there, yeah. and I mean, blessed to be able to say that because that also is something that playing for those teams, I also did strength and conditioning playing. playing. So it's a lot of things that I was able to learn through play. I understood. So I came into my career path with a little extra edge only because. Well, I'm not only coaching from a place of coaching, I'm coaching from a place of doing. And yeah. that was uh, overly important to um, my profession and what I was trying to accomplish, which was to be a collegiate strength conditioning coach. Understood, so. understood. Okay, um, so being that, so what is your future goals with you know fitness and basically where do you want to go um, like uh, with teaching other students and teaching other people going towards fitness? So what are your goals with Man, that? you know, honestly, I love the grind, you know, I get up 3.15 in the morning, the, those are the hours. Yeah. Uh, first workout start around 5 a.m. I get up around 3.15, uh, it's, it's an easy morning. I get up extra early so I can ease in. Um, mm -hmm. I'm coming in, music is slow, you know, right. I come yeah, in calm. I try to come in calm because if I listen to the wrong music too early in the morning, I'm going to come in blazing. Yeah, They're yeah, going to yeah. be and I want the K, I want all of us to come into it together. So when the music starts blasting, I get here, I cut the music on and make sure that it is booming. Right. Throughout the thing when they start pulling in. That way when they get in mentally, they start getting into right. it. So for me, future goals, I want to send some guys, you know, to the professional levels. Basketball, baseball, football, because I've watched strength coaches do it. I've seen coaches send guys to the professional levels and it's so gratifying, man. It's not about the money. It's about me personally being able to speak, man. It changed my son's future. Understood. You know, it changed a lot of, you know, people's future around me being able to have went and played and done and seen and learned. Uh, you come in contact with so many different people. So my goal, my fitness goals would be one, I would love to send, like I get up every morning with the mentality of just finding them two, three, four people in each group that want to come. One is one that we can put get work in somewhere to where we can show that they can come back. I love because that when story. that happens, man, it, it, it increases everything for the school. And it, right, you know, exactly. It, it, it helps, I mean, I, I went to Troy, when I went to Troy, OCU Mayura just got drafted, uh, never really 
hung around him, but right. I was able to say, oh man, that's cool. He went to school. And yeah. he went to Troy, and then the next year after that, or two years later, DeMarcus Ware goes. And seeing DeMarcus Ware's thing happen, yeah. you, you hang out with him, you know him, you go to his house, you throw paper at him in meetings, and right. now he's with the Cowboys, and he's and doing all the stuff yeah. he's doing, and it's like, Jesus, and then from there, you got Albert Mack, the oldest McKelvin, Sherrod, Martin. You got so many guys from Troy that I don't think we would have gotten opportunities had it not been for the DeMarcus's going, the OC's going, right. and showing NFL scouts to not look over Troy. Right. So the idea is, well, if we get some guys there, don't look over EWC. We're yeah, rocks exactly. throw from the Jaguars. Come see us play. You'll like us. And when you start liking us, other teams will start yeah. migrating toward it. And then next thing you know now, now you got we don't have to worry about facilities. Right. You know, all that stuff will take care of itself because you have alumni that will donate. You have people that will give back to the school. And you have people that will be proud to give to the school because that's, 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 that's my mission. My mission is to uplift. I'm uplift to people there. Yeah. And that's what, that's, you know, dealing with fitness. Support. That's a big part of it. You know, you got to, uh, you know, you want to uplift everybody in the situation, uh, being that it's the facility, being that it's the training, being that it's yourself. You right, know? right. Fitness is a aspect to uplift everybody. Mm -hmm. So I definitely, definitely like the answer you gave me there. So last question, what are your favorite type of workouts you like to do before mm -hmm. we go into the workouts? So what, what type of workouts do you like to, for yourself? Uh, well, a lot of, a lot of, I won't say strength, a lot of people, trainers, strength coaches, personal trainers, you name it, we use the word function in a broad sense. Right. And the definition of function is something that's meant to do something and accomplishing what it's right. meant to do. That's what function is. So the cameras are functional if it records. You know, right. so what's functional for a football player is not functional for a golfer. You know? I understand. So I like function, I like from feet to head. Solid. I, I want you solid yeah. from top to bottom. So Olympic lifts are big for my contact, contact and collision sports. Okay. Basketball will be a contact sport. Right. Football is a collision sport. You are mm -hmm. purposely trying to collide into somebody. So what I need your body built for for football: strong neck, core, uppers and Tight lowers. Body, yeah. Basketball doesn't need. Basketball needs strong core, strong lowers, great hips, power, explosion. It's just you got to make sure that your programming, which is what you go to school for, that's what all of the, the specialists and all that stuff yeah, you go yeah, through, you your, your, your degrees, that's all that stuff is to make sure you understand function for that specific group. I understand. So I purposely spend a lot of time studying, researching, and just kind of making sure that I'm always on the right track when it comes to my athletes, what we are trying to accomplish, and what are we weak in. At what are the things we need to get better at first? So okay. function and Olympic lifts. Olympic lifts are very much so a part of what I love, especially with football guys, because we need them. We need them to be great. Right. That's, just, That's just what it is. Yeah. All right, guys. So you got it here from Mr. Marcus, coach of EWC, athletic trainer of EWC. Let me say, um, you guys. Strength and conditioning coach. Strength and conditioning coach. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Um, uh, but. We're going to check out our great workout that we have coming for you guys, so just sit tight and it'll be at you soon. So, first movement, I call it a Jaguar push-up. It was shown to me by a friend of mine who used to play for the Jaguars, um, that's Gerard Martin. He uh, played how many years, but during his time there, I was in Orlando, I used to come up here a lot. He showed me this push-up, uh, both basically, hands go at elevated, you know, at least, you know, you want to be six to eight inches of elevation. Uh, in between that elevation of the hands, you want to be able to take your chest to the floor or as close to the floor as you can get. The idea is you're trying to maximize the muscle fiber of the chest. You want the entire muscle fiber to be stretched. All right, now you come up, you want the reflex. This movement, uh, the front squat, is a, uh, it's, it's more of an evaluation movement for me. Normally when I get a guy, first thing I do is I put him through this movement, bring it up July. You bring it up to the chest, you need the bar to roll back to the fingertips. You need the elbows to be able to come off the body. I need that range of motion to the elbow. Meaning if that elbow falls down, let it fall. If that elbow falls down, that's gonna already tell me that you one don't have a lot of shoulder range of motion that we're gonna need. And two, chances are you're gonna miss a lot of it. That arm 
penetrate that part of the phone. Alright, you bring that elbow up, 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 it helps you complete the movement and max you out on power where you are. And exactly. So now, when you go into the squat portion of it, down, 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 down. The idea is to hold it. The idea is to stay back into your heels, butt back, knees don't go over the toes, and then as you come up, the elbow drop up as you come up over the knees. Hold it. This movement transfers to powerful ankle. seen a great workout from us today um give us an instagram name where we can follow you uh instagram m rich 26 that's m r i c h 26 uh questions uh dm for the most part is fine uh i try to cause i like to stay more athletic based uh if that's possible just because that's what i kind of specialize in so uh i can answer your you know basic questions, but uh, athletes out there, high school, uh, college, etc. cetera, um, if you don't have a strength and conditioning coach or whatever the case may be, got something you want to know, shoot me a, a DM and I'll be happy to at least install a video for you maybe or give you the information I can, shoot it back to you. No problem. All right, so you got M. Rich here. Definitely check him out, man. Give him any questions, concerns. I'm Mr. Two Fit and that's Two Fit TV for you. And we Two Fit TV out today, man. Have a good one.